Uh, Alexis Rolf in the game. And uh, we have the Bulgs girl. Three-pointer, Peter Peterman. That's two back-to-back -back threes. Gracie Bulgs. So the game just literally started. We're just over a minute into the game, and it's 6 nothing already. Astros on two three-pointers. East Clinton's in their white uniforms That's going uh, left to right. Now the Rockets are in their uh, blue and gold uniforms heading right to left. These teams split during the season. Each team won by about 10 points, I believe, at their yeah. home place. 1-9, one, 1-10. One, yeah, 1-1 one, one by 1-9, one, 1-1 nine, one, one by 10. And so they split. So uh, the winner of this game gets Williamsburg. He just annihilated Purcell Marion, beat him by about 25 or which, so. Which is also in the SBAAC. Yeah, Williamsburg is. Well, Williamsburg won that division. Durbin got tripped Quickly up. down the other way, uh, number three puts it in for uh, Rockets. That's Olivia Bricker. And nope, almost she got two points. So it's six to two, six minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. You know, with CNE playing a zone, they definitely got to penetrate the gaps, look in the middle, and kick it out to number 30, who's made three or two three point shots. Well, she's made, no, she's one. made one. And uh, Campbell made one. Campbell made one also. The team had back to back, not her while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, oh like right the there. Away. He kicked it back out to her. Claremont, Claremont Northeastern bringing it down. Blocked from Shot. behind a little yep. bit. No good. She backed up. She traveled. traveled. Yes, she did. Good call. Travel on number 30 of Claremont Northeastern. That's Natalie Bachman. East Clinton inbound. Durbin gets it in to Mackenzie Campbell. And Mackenzie Campbell is going to continue her basketball career down at Marietta. She's going to be a pioneer. Marietta pioneer. It's actually a Mackenzie Campbell at Wilmington College. Yeah, that used to play yeah. basketball. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping she'd go to Wilmington. We have a, a oh bad pass. Yep, yeah, they're now bounced. We have a, a, a Rolf in the game tonight, which she played most of the time on the reserve squad this year, but she's getting a start tonight. I know one of the girls is sick. A Creech bomb girl is sick for uh, East Clinton, and that's too bad. She's only yeah, a freshman, but she's a she's a big girl. She's a, yeah, she she can make a lot of points underneath and get a lot of rebounds. Hopefully, she'll get better soon. Campbell went up high for that rebound. It's going around East Clinton. My daughter's got it too. Rolf over to Peterman. Rolf has it. He's going to shoot it. That's a two. Oh. Misses and uh, rebounded by the Rockets. Durbin. And ball's knocked away by Durbin. Ball's loose. I'm going to say it's going to stay with uh, Claremont Northeastern. Into the game comes number 25, Alyssa Williams, and number 11, Katrina Bowman for uh, the Astros. She gets a lot of playing time for the Astros. Bowman does. Well, yeah, she's usually a starter. Yeah. Shots up, no good. Rebounded by number 25 of Claremont Northeastern. She puts it up. So it's six to four. So it's went from six zero to six four. Right away, Campbell has it. Gets it over to Peterman. They need to get in the middle. Back over to Campbell on the right side. Three-pointer, Peterman. Another one. Count it. She's on fire, She's folks. got a really nice shot. She's got a really fast shot release. So you're just predicting the future. Did She did score two three-pointers. Yeah, three so there yeah. Go. it's a good thing I said it in. Yep. This game right now is reminding me a little bit about like Wilmington's game the other day when they came out hitting the threes. Yep. Yep. Nine to four. Campbell has it. She's going to try to go all the way to the hole. She got bumped. She gets fouled. Mm. Almost made the basket. She does get fouled, though, by number 30, and that is her first, Natalie Bachman. Mackenzie Campbell going to the line to shoot two. First one's up. Ooh, Ooh in and out, in and out. A little more arch on this one. Here. Come on, put it in. Second one is up. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was good. Yeah. You can tell from that release that was looking lot, better than the first better, one. 10-4. Yeah. East Clinton on top. 3.40 to go here. First quarter at Wilmington High School. Short Listening basket, to about. sectional tournament action here on WZAA and CampusNation.com. 
Well, right now, woman, I mean, East Clinton looks more ca calm and casual out there than, than CNE seems to be pressing themselves. Mm -hmm. East Clinton with ball. Bowman shoots it up. Two-pointer, no good, but Peterman's right there with the rebound. Bad pass. And, yeah, she tried to throw it to Campbell, and it balls loose, so Campbell gets it back. Back out to Peterman. Over to Boggs. Boggs oh, goes no up. Foul? She yeah. gets fouled. Oh. Yeah. This one called the other one called touch or block and one called foul. Fouls on number 25. 25. Fouls on number 25. Come on, Gracie, put him in. Alyssa Williams, her first. Gracie Boggs at the line to shoot two. Nice. Makes shot. the first one. They had really good rotation. Yes, a nice arch. Gracie, she's just a sophomore. Her family, she grew up in a basketball family. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sports, just all sports, really. Yeah. Missed a but, shot. Yeah, sport family, she yep. that, yeah. Number three, Bricker gets the rebound. She's bringing it up quickly. Knocked out of bounds, though, by Bowman. Claremont Northeastern inbound on the uh, opposite side where we're at. Get over number 10. Oh, almost balls. stolen. Yep. Almost stolen. Kenzie Campbell almost had the steal. Um, oh, I thought he was calling timeout. I did too. too. I did too. From the side out. I, some of these plays, five out, side out. I hate these as a referee. What do they call it? Charge? Illegal screen. Illegal screen. Yep. On well, number 10, that is Mackenzie Reese. Everybody's got a, four fouls on four different people. Yep, East Clinton. Clinton's played a foul free so far. Claremont Northeastern made it here by making a last second shot with less than three seconds to go in the game to win. Really? Yeah. They trailed the whole game. I don't like that. That's kind of like a karma thing. Three pointer. Three. Peter, yeah, that's a karma thing right there. Right. Personally, like when I was playing ball in high school, I absolutely loved when teams played zone because, of course, I was oh, I was yeah. a shooter. Yeah. So you know, I loved penetrating the outside perimeter and then wide open. 30-second timeout called by the Rockets. Yeah. I'd like to let you know our broadcast tonight is being brought to you by Luttrell Trucking. For all your farm trucking needs, they have flatbeds available and uh, tankers and grain trucks. Luttrell Trucking, Sabine, Ohio. Fiesta Veracruz is also one of our sponsors. They have American and Mexican cu cuisine located right downtown Wilmington, Ohio. Then we have also Royal Z. Royal Z. Royal Z Lanes, they are uh, the bowling alley in Wilmington. They uh, they host four high schools as the home uh, home alley, East Clinton, Wilmington, uh, Clinton Massey, and Greenview. And we want to thank all those sponsors, and we have several more we'll get to. Claremont Northeastern with the ball, 25. Ooh, nice shot. Left wing, no good. Boggs. Tries to get the rebound. We have a jump ball, and it's going to stay with uh, the Rockets. Yeah. yeah, she brought the, she got jumped up, got the nice rebound, but brought it down to her waist, and that let the uh, the other girl reach in real quick and grab for the jump yep. ball. She was strong enough to keep a hold of it. Number ten shoots the three. Wow, no good. she just sort of slung that up. Yeah, there. that's a good way to put it. She just like slung it over her right shoulder. Shot up, number 24, three-pointer, no good. Campbell has it. They're going to try to do a quick hitter. Peterman running the floor with her. Campbell takes it by herself, no good. Now, she got to hit it about the same as she did the last time, but no foul on this time. Little bump. Number 30, shoots the, from the wing, no good. Claremont Northeastern, Katrina Bowman with the rebound. Good. And she gets fouled by number 24, it looks yep. like. Yep, number 24. That's Taylor Schumard. Is that her first? Yeah. So we got five players on Claremont Northeastern <laughs> with one foul each. And East Clinton has uh, made the lead now 14 to four. Whoa, 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 whoa. bad pass. threw the ball away though. Peterman's gonna try to get down and defend it. And has successfully yes. defended it. But Claremont Nobody Northeastern gets the rebound. Oh. Boggs is on the floor. Good ball job. is stolen by East Clinton. Peterman has it, slows everybody down, says uh, let's go down here. Take her time. She's going to pop a three here. Minute 23. So. Campbell has it over to Bowman. 
Oh, she oh. brought her. It's going to stay here. Jump ball, it's going to stay with East Clinton. Bad part about that is they already had the ball. You don't like to get a jump ball when you've already got the ball. True. That's one of the rules in consideration I hear as going back to the old jump ball. It slows the game down, but you know, I don't, I wouldn't mind it. Three point. Oh, Durbin. No Durbin good. will just miss. Hit back flange. Number 10 bringing it up. That's Mackenzie Reese. Throws it underneath. Shots up. And we foul have a foul. Durbin. I think it's going to be on Looks Durbin. Looks like it's going to be on Durbin. Fouls on Kaitlyn Durbin. That's her first, team's first. Twenty-three at the line for the Rockets. The first one's up and in. Yes. It's Jillian Kirby. Bricker came in the game. Did you get that? She makes them both. Was Kirby. Campbell has it, goes down to the right side. C&E changed it up, they're playing man-to-man -man now. Yeah. Well, you're down 14-4, to four. probably a good move now, it's 14-6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peterman passes over to uh, Bowman. Bowman's getting fouled, oh. they do finally call it. Olivia Bricker with the foul, that's her first. <laughs> Six fly, 16 fouls and six different players and one foul apiece. That's crazy. Get the ball into balls. She's like, what am I getting the ball for out here? Did you see her face? It's like, what am I doing here? Going well, to the hole pier, man. Gets blocked. Number 22 is going to try to run the court, but she really doesn't have a... will get a foul on there, Campbell. Campbell reached in foul. That was kind of a dumb foul. Yeah, was, she was going to have to turn it out anyhow. Yeah, she, she was already turning out. There was no reason. Number three, too she's hard, the three, hard. no good. And uh, Campbell's right there with the rebound, pushing it down. 14 seconds. I don't know if they realize it or not. Peterman's got the ball. Five, Five seconds. Four. They three, don't realize it. Two. One. Yep, they didn't realize it. No. No time. She may have realized it, but she couldn't do too much. Yep. If, I we think can always she, shoot. Well, I think you can if, always shoot. if she had just turned and went into the girl and shot, they, she may have got a foul. You know? Yep. All right. Also sponsoring our broadcast tonight is Route 73 Homes. Brian Lawrence is out there on State Route 73. They offer mobile homes, uh, not only rent, but purchase, land. They can do everything from uh, brand new property to, you know, selling new and used homes. Plus, they also have available uh, storage units and also uh, the portable storage units that you can purchase. Um, Bush Chevrolet is another one of our sponsors. Bush Chevrolet in Wilmington, GMC, has new uh, GM cars, uh, Cadillac, Olds, whatever they have. The, the GM makes they have it, plus they have a wide array of used cars and a service department. Bush Chevrolet right here in Wilmington, Ohio. Before the second quarter starts, I have to give a shout out for a few people that's watching it. Shout out to my mom that's watching it right now, and also Scott Hibbert. He's the director of membership sales at the Minnesota Timberwolves. Wonderful. Thank you for watching. Well, tell, hey, tell, tell him not to judge us too uh, too harsh here, because we just volunteer, Scott. So, uh, <laughs> well, Scott, just say I like the color people. That's yeah, Scott. Me we and Lexi. Scott. We do work for food, though. Just kidding. All right, Claremont Northeastern. Uh, loses the basketball underneath. We have a foul there. Foul's on number 30. That's on Peter. Is that her first? Yes, that's her first. And she's 12 in the program. She changed her number halfway through yeah. the season because of a uniform issue. Uniform at malfunction? First one, 24, is in. Taylor Schumann with a basket. And she makes them both. Minnesota, that's awful cold up there, Lexi. I don't know. Hey, you know, you got to dress warm. That's all I got to tell you. 
I got to see the Timberwolves play last year against the Milwaukee Bucks. I hope you were rooting for the Timberwolves. Well, I, we were in Milwaukee. We really didn't care who won. Uh, shots up by Durbin. She gets fouled. Did a good job of driving in the lane and getting the shot up and, and forcing that foul. Mm -hmm. She created that. Yeah, I yep. thought I meant creating the foul. That's her second. Team seventh now, so East Clinton will be in the one and bonus for the whole second quarter almost. At the uh, line is Caitlin Durbin. She makes the first. That's her first point tonight. Last, last year during the sectional game that they got beat out on, Durbin was one of our uh, co-players of the game. She had a great game last year. Well, it's early in this one. Oh, in and this out. Nice shot. But just a little she short. leads the entire conference, just not the division, but the entire conference in blocked shots, this Caitlin Durbin. Well, somebody said she may also lead the whole southwest Cincinnati region area. Yeah. Because how many... Shot, shot up by Claremont Northeastern. No good. Uh, Peterman gets the rebound, and she's going to bring it down slowly. You know, they've been shooting shots. They just haven't been in, but they won't no. be shooting them if they know they can't make it, you know. 15-8. 15-8. Peterman with the basketball. Gets it out to Durbin over to Campbell on the left wing. Three-pointer nice by nice Campbell. Yep. And count it. They can shoot. Well, when it went out, when it left her hands, I said, nice shot. Because yeah. it, it, from this angle, it looked it like it was beautiful. The rotation, yep. the arch, the everything. It was great. 18-8 now. East Clinton up by 10. That's and, Joe, we had some misinformation the other night. Stolen by East Clinton. What was that? It's continuous clock now. Not at 30, but at 35. Oh, 35. So, we were told 30. Yeah. And the person that gave us that misinformation clarified that tonight. It's 35. Claremont Northeastern, number uh, 10, coming into the game. Kimsey Reese. Yep. Her at number three kind of go in and out. They replace each other. Olivia Bricker. Reese bringing the ball up. Shot up. No good. Rebounded by Durbin. They need to continue to do that pick and roll because obviously they're switching. Right. And the mismatches, that'll be great for them to get, you know, score and. Campbell yeah. picks her dribble up. Not sure why. Oh, darn. Oh, she she had, got it to Peterman. Had it. Back out she to Campbell. She had the lane. I know she's short, but that lane was there for mm -hmm. nice. Three-pointer Durbin. In. Oh, my. That's a long one. I was getting ready to say, that might have been NBA style. That was, that was at least college. That was at least uh, three yeah. feet behind. That was about 22 foot. She had to heave that thing. The defense has to recognize that. They can shoot, so get a hand in their face. 21 to 8. Well, they've played this team twice, so I think they probably know who the shooters are, I'm assuming. But somebody that maybe wasn't mm -hmm. a shooter last game when they played, maybe. Right. But that's yeah. a good ball team. If You don't have to depend on one person. If right. they have many people that can shoot the outside three, I mean, that's threatening. Right. And right now we've had at least three, and there's a couple that can and still haven't hit. Claremont Northeastern with basketball. Moving around the ball on the outside. East Clinton still playing man. Long cross-court pass, Ooh, almost, almost thrown away. away. Claremont Northeastern has a ball on the left wing. They move it out to the top. To, they're uh, they're playing 10, into East Clinton's hands right now with the slow game, and they're 10, you know, they're down by 13, so East Clinton saying, take your time. Shot up, three-pointer, count it. Number 24, Taylor Schumar with the three. That was a great look, so hopefully that will get him going. Yeah. Well, we, we're the East Clinton broadcast Are you, network yeah, tonight, we, no, just hopefully, so you know. Hopefully they can. Come on, hey, man. Hey, I am mutual well, you're gonna here. Do that for, you're going to do that for the Timberwolves, too? You're going to root for the Bucks? What the no, hell? Hey, yeah. I oh, am oh, all from stolen. Minnesota. Jeff wanted to double dribble there, but. Fouls on Bowman. Bowman. That's her, her first. first. Team's fourth. And uh, what's well, funny there, again, all four fouls are uh, by separate players. Yeah. 431 to go here, 21 10 in the second quarter. There's only one player that has two shot fouls. Put up. That's a no bad good. That was, I don't that know if that was tipped or not. Had, I hope it was tipped. That was an awful shot. Durbin brings the ball down. No bad pass. Away. She knew that Peter, was going to be Peterman there. Peterman was still back, and the shot's missed. 
Peterman has the ball, off the rebound. Miss, miss bunnies. I tell you what, they missed probably oh, eight to ten points. And C just miss bunnies. C&E just looks tight. They look tight out here. Look how open that lane is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's wide open. Right. And that's what they it. did. Yeah. And that's what she, she was doing. See, it, she yeah. drove the lane and then forced the girl mm -hmm. to come over. Boom, foul. She, right. she was going to be beat. So it's either Fowler or let her have a layup. I always Fowler love number 22. Is that somebody new? Yep. <laughs> yep, Michaela Drury. So we've still now got they're all saying it's his, her second. I only had her for one also. I only had her for, yeah. Well, let's say we're right then. Peter Minnesheet to one and one. No good on the, the first one. So Claremont Northeastern comes out of there with it. The Rockets. They don't even have her on the board, do they? 20, wasn't that 22? Yeah. Is it? No, she's not. Or did she, come, she just came out maybe on that foul. Might have. Shots up. No good by CNE. Turn around jumper underneath. Number 30. Pretty nice move that there was a nice by, move by Natalie him. Bachman. 21-12. Three-pointer. Nice. Squeeze. That's four by Peterman. She's dangerous. 24-12. I mean, she didn't think about it. She just said, oh, you're wide open. Shot. She got that shooter Confidence. mentality. Yep. Yes. Well, you know. And that's that's the sign of a good a good shooter. That, when, you, know, when you haven't missed They yet. don't have to think about it. They just, if I'm open, I'm going to shoot. Travel. She traveled. Travel. She did. Yep. Change pivot foot. 12-point lead by East Clinton, 24-12. Even dozen. Rick, you got a headset on? No. No. Uh, a three. Oh, we can't hear us, so we be safe. 24-12. <laughs> Trina Bowman with the basketball on the left wing. Dribbles to the middle of the court. Picks up her dribble. Gives it over to Lacey Peterman. Peterman drives right side. Nothing there. Whoop, and whoop. she's going to get trapped, and she does. It finds the open Bowman. player, Durbin. Durbin, Durbin makes the bucket. I said Bowman. <laughs> I think I was looking at her. Right, that was a great find. She got doubled. She was wide open. Great shot. She's got six points already. 26 to 12. Oh, nice pass inside. Missed shot again. Missed opportunity. Balls on the floor. Who's going to get it? Ah, East Clinton comes out there with it. Peterman coming down the right side. Okay. Yeah, hey, Campbell. You made it. Campbell makes the bucket and gets fouled. Fouls on number 10, Mackenzie Reese, that's her second. And uh, Campbell going to the line to shoot the bonus. She's got nine. If she makes this, she'll have an e uh, even 10 points breaking into double figures. Their scoring is pretty balanced. Yeah, sure. I was thinking that yeah. last time when I was saying that that they've got three. They've got three players. They've yeah. got four scores in this game, mm -hmm. and three of them are, you know, all close to 10 points, you know, in that game. <coughs> Campbell misses a shot. 30. That's the rebound. Ooh, that was almost, or I mean, Bowman almost had a steal there. Oh. Ball's on the floor. Timeout! Yeah, because you call it doesn't mean you get it. You got you to gotta hear it. You got to have possession. I don't think they have possession. I couldn't tell because yeah. that was clear down on the left I think the corner. ball, he saw the girl losing the ball, and I think he tried to yell time, but the ball got knocked loose. Nobody had possession. 153 here to go in the half, and the East Clinton's up. 28-12. See, again, drive the, Bowman got it, drove in, foul. Foul's on number 30. That's Bachman. That's her second. Hey, Rick. I don't know if you're recording or not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if. Okay. Oh, They're wow. Bad. Bowman misses the first one altogether. All right. Let's see what she does in the second one. After knowing that, will she push too hard trying to make up, or will she swoosh this well, right down You know down what? The it was right down the middle, and oh, she just was short about a basketball lane. That's better. Yep. 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 She makes that one. Bowman, that's her first point. 142 to go, 29-12. Astros in control so far. Going to call a foul on Campbell. Wow. That was yep. ticky-tack. I thought it was, too. That was a ticky-tack foul. He might take her out right yeah. here. Yeah. Well, you only got a minute 37 well, left you got here. got 17-point lead right now, so why, you know, why take a chance getting her a third foul? 
Yeah, cause she she doesn't play like she'll have a couple fouls. When she no. she just plays like she always plays. She ain't gonna slow down. No. First shots missed by number three, Olivia Bricker. Campbell does come out, and into the game comes Alexis Rolf. She got a really nice name. Go, 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 go. And, uh, and, uh, nice roll on that, that one. Was good. I'm surprised they're not doing like a little half court trap. Oh, drive. Look at this. She's going right in. Durban goes right to Could the hole. Could have got a foul there, but the uh, referee held the whistle on that one. That was a nice move by Caitlin Durban. That was. She got through the gaps 13. and it was easy, too. Shots put up. Who's that? Number 25 Five. underneath. Oh, Alyssa Williams with the basket. Peterman gets it over to Durbin, back to Peterman. Durbin could go around that side again. Boggs has it. Gets they it could. over to Durbin. Oh, Miss Peterman, she was wide open down here on the right side. I tell you what, if they're, if they're gonna play Bowman back like it. they are, you could, that woman, oh, or he's could have literally foul. just. Mm -hmm. Now they're pressing a little more. Yep, Peterman has the basketball, 40 hey, seconds. The, I was gonna say, we're down to 40. They could run the clock out with the one shot. I can tell that uh, East Clinton is very well coached. Yes, Jeff Craft is a nice coach. Mm -hmm. Shot up, Short no good by Alexis Rolf. She's looking at it like she can't believe it. Oh, nice lead. Oh, oh she lost, lost the, the ball. ball. Out of bounds, so good break there for the Astros. Number 25 couldn't handle the pass, Alyssa Williams. Whoa, well that was close to being a foul. Urban gets it over to Peterman. She can't <laughs> Everybody's having the trouble with the ball, the spin or something. Too much air in that ball. They're not Tom Brady balls, that's for sure. <laughs> Ooh, Durbin. Oh man, she have just turned and flipped mm -hmm. it to Durbin. She went wide open. Didn't see it. Oh, they oh, have three points shot. Line to shoot three. Who thought her? 25? Yep, yes. 25. Is that her third? That's I got her for two. Okay. Yeah, Alyssa yeah. Williams, that's her second. Well, it's because of this. Um, well, it's so close. I'm marking it here in the dark area. And well, it's kind of hard and, to see. And it. plus, I mean, you don't have much room to mark on these no. things. Going to the line, Durbin to shoot three, isn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First one's up and in. Second one up. Nice shot. <laughs> Both of those were just dead center. Nice arch, nice roll. This is your time to chime in on that, Miss Lexi. Alexa. Alexa. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going to call you Miss Lexi. <laughs> and the next one is up, and it is good. Alexa, give me a drink. Yeah. Do you know how many times oh, I get long that? long shot. <laughs> and the horn and goes. Half, no good. So, at the end of the first half, it's East Clinton, 34 and 15 for uh, Claremont Northeastern. I'd like to again thank our sponsors tonight, Luttrell Trucking, for all your farm trucking needs and flatbed needs, tanker needs, uh, call Luttrell Trucking. Uh, they will provide those services for you. Fiesta Veracruz. Wilmington, Ohio, they have a wide variety of Mexican cuisine and American cuisine and plenty of uh, a big variety of beverages there also. Royal Z Lanes in Wilmington, Ohio, uh, they have uh, leagues and open bowling and uh, you can look them up online or in the book to find out times when it is good for open bowling. And four local teams play, uh, do their high school bowling matches there and one... Uh may be coming in uh, next year also. Yeah, they haven't figured out, they gotta figure out how to make the balls round. Right now they're <laughs> using square ones is what I heard. <laughs> Route 73 homes, Brian Lawrence. Uh, again, anything you need, little, modular uh, home needs or uh, storage units uh, that you can put on your property or he has uh, self storage there also at his lot. And that's Allen State Route 73 between Wilmington and New Vienna. Uh, Bush Auto. Bush Auto has a wide range of vehicles from uh, GM, Chevy to uh, Cadillac and also used cars. And they also offer a service department, whether you are a, uh, whether you're a GM 
a person or a bush customer, they will service any car that bring, comes in. Dang, look at these guys. We got a little show going on yeah. out here. I don't know if they're just doing that on That's, their own. No, they're right. doing it on their own. Yep. See, any the little girl decided, I don't know if someone whispered to her to do it or if she decided to oh. do it on her own. But then she had a. Uh, she's I don't giving know. a show. I mean, I she's. I don't know if that's her mom that come out with her or I what. I don't but, know. If, yeah, if, uh, she did several mom too. Mom or sister or somebody, because I don't know if she's old enough to be her mom, but. I don't know. You know, you can't tell. We, you know, we had the car show this weekend, and there was a girl. <laughs> And I don't know if I should say this or not, but you she was she you was should. drinking some, uh, let's say, adult beverages, and I swear to God, she didn't look over 15 years mm. old. I asked her later. I said, "How old are you?" Because I didn't want to get in trouble since I was sponsoring the car show. She said, "I'm 29. I'll be 30 here in uh, six months." Well, when you get really old yeah. like you are, Charlie. Well, no, you know no, I'm. Ser I mean, hey, hey. You can't tell the ages. Hey. She, right. she looked younger than my daughter, and well, my daughter's only 17. Anytime I, mean, I go anywhere, of course, I'll, I always carded. get carded. Always. My wife still gets carded. And be right. proud of that. Yeah, so when I'm like 30, it's going to be real nice. And I'll I've went places, and the girl in, around me, either with us or, or right in front of us, got carded and got upset. And I'm thinking, like, why are that's you a upset? Compliment. It's a yeah. blessing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a compliment. I got good oh my jeans. Gosh, when you're 40 and someone thinks you're still 25, that's, mm -hmm. that's going to be right. nice, you yes. know? Uh, I talk to the. Can you do that, Joe? No, I do that. I do that in my sleep. <laughs> we got every a girl night. out here walking I, on her hands. I think I do do it in my bed. The way my covers and stuff are in the morning, woke uh, all tore up. I talked to the CNE's coach before the game, and he said at the end of the last game they played, they were behind. He said they came out terrible. They were about nine to nothing behind. Oh, geez, can you do oh, that, Joe? No, <laughs> they were behind the whole game, and right at the end they kept inching back, and they were behind uh, by one or two points. What did you say? The other, the he, other. I said Charlie did that once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's they right. were, uh, they were behind, and the, uh, the other team had the ball. Madeira had the ball, and the girls just started like dribbling it around. Well, they went out and fouled her on purpose instead of keeping the ball away. Right. They, she just kept it and let and let them foul her. Well, they fouled her, and there was 3.1 seconds on the clock. No, I take it back. There was like five seconds on the clock. She missed the for one, dribbled down. The coach called timeout at the 28-foot uh, mark, and 3.1 seconds left when he called the timeout. And they threw the ball in to the girl underneath the basket, shoot, shot it right back out for the three-point shot, shoots it, makes it, and they win as the horn went off. Wow. Uh, but, you know, when – they're digging themselves such a hole today, you know, I don't mm -hmm. think. Because he said they, they started off, they looked flat, and then I, basically, the way he talked, they didn't play that much better. Mm -hmm. The other team just opened up the doors and let them back in. Mm -hmm. right. If East Clinton keeps playing the style of ball they're mm -hmm. playing, they're not going to – and if they it's keep playing the style the of ball they've played, they haven't – they've looked lackluster this whole game. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think of Williamsburg? What, how, on that end, this, how, how did they look? Williamsburg or CNE? I mean, excuse me, CNE. Oh, Williamsburg no, played good. the game before. I mean, offensively, they're getting decent looking shots, but most of their the turnaround needs to be defensively. They're not really playing defense against um, East Clinton. East Clinton, excuse me, yes, because they're hitting threes after threes, and they just got to get a hand up in their face. And. Um, yeah, they've had some wide open shots, had some nice looking shots, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not they're not attacking for the rebounds. Right, there's they're no just, intensity. They're just they're just flat. It's like you shoot and they just stand flat footed, and East Clinton gets has been leading getting mm -hmm. the rebounds. Exactly, and it shows that East Clinton East Clinton they want it more. Well, you know, I I've been a coach mm -hmm. uh, of not only of basketball, but I mean of all sports in the spring. And I tell you what, what what C and E is showing me, it's like, and I've seen it in track, I've seen it in other sports. They're ready for the season to be over. You know, yeah. when you say, hey, guys, if we win, we can go on. They're like, oh, God, I don't want it. I mean, that's what I'm seeing out here. Right. It's no, like, same here, yes. Yeah, I'm seeing, oh, God, I don't want to go on. I, wa I want to start doing something else. I want to have no bat, no sport so I can start going home and doing nothing. Or mm -hmm. I'm ready for softball, you know. Heck, you know exactly. You know, I'm on the softball team, too. and you know, There's, so They're not playing with intensity. No, that's what I'm saying. They're playing with, like, they're thinking, it's like, they're just – there's no drive for them to want to win this game. Now, may, there may be one or two girls, but as a whole team, I'm not seeing right. that drive of wanting to win. Where on East Clinton, I'm seeing that drive. Every, every girl. girl. Yes, every girl exactly. out there has been wanting to, has been playing hard. What's, 
Alexa said it's nice that you don't have your ears on and we can talk about you. <laughs> as long as it's good stuff that you're saying. That's of course. Not, uh, We're making you look good. Remember, uh, I edit the final product. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, any, any shout-outs you want to give again? Um, well, my friend Sam Cleegan from Iowa. I met now, him at that now workshop. Was it Cleegan or Cleggan? Because a while ago you said Cleggan. Now Clegan, you're saying Cleegan. It's okay. But Sam. he's just like Sam, yes. He's a really good friend of mine. I actually met him at Mount Union, and the um, LA Dodgers are flying him out um, the same week or the same day I'm going to New York. So he's more than likely going to be um, with that organization with the Dodgers. Sam, if you're, if you're still listening, send her a message with the pronunciation of your name so we can get that correct for you, please. Yes, Sam. But I'm just curious what CNE is going to do differently. If they're going to play with passion. Just, yeah. You know, I get it. They're down 34-15. But this could be well, the last game of the season. Play the last second half. Well, again, what we saw, they came out in a zone. East right. Clinton, boom, 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 threes, threes, mm -hmm. threes. Yes. Okay, they went to man-to-man. -man. At first, for a minute or two, it sort of slowed East Clinton down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it stopped them or anything, but it slowed them down. Then all of a sudden, like you said, you saw the open, the lanes were open. East yes. Clinton started driving those lanes. They, they foul or East Clinton made a basket. So, you know, I think they're like, gosh, what do we do? You know, we exactly. play the zone, they hit on us. We play man-to-man, -man, we get fouls. What, you know, what are we going to do? And, and if they stay in foul trouble, they're going to have to go back to the zone. Exactly. And that just goes back to how well-coached East Clinton is. They're reading the defense tremendously well. How much does Craycraft pay you to say that? <laughs> no, but get it, though. This is the first time I've seen East Clinton play. Oh, is it really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yep. Yes. Well, that's uh, – I coach bowling at East Clinton gotcha. for anybody that's listening. So, and I've, I've refereed that these girls that are on the floor since the first time they played basketball okay. in the third and fourth grade Pee Wee Leagues mm -hmm. and all the way through high school. So, uh, so I know them very well. And uh, just a bunch of good ball players. i tell you one thing. Here's one thing about East Clinton. A couple years ago, the, you know how they put the banners in the gym of their seniors? Right. And then, the, you know, the ball, the softball players got his banner up there, the football player. Well, the East Clinton, I looked up and there's no basketball players up there. But there, the, there were seniors on the basketball team, but they had a softball glove, a track thing. Yeah. That, so they were other sports. They played basketball just to play, but that wasn't their sport. Now when you go look in the gym, you see five, three, four, five banners up there of their seniors. They're, mm -hmm. they're all basketball. All right, well, now it is uh, 34 to 15 as we start the third quarter of play, and uh, East Clinton will be going right to left on your radio dial, and CNE will be going left to right. Again, CNE in the blue and gold unis, and East Clinton in the red and white, white uniforms, red trim. Again, we want to thank our sponsors Luttrell Trucking, Fiesta Vera Cruz, Royal Z Lanes, Route 73 Homes, and Bush Chevrolet. And nice, uh, East, uh, nice. Clinton, East Clinton has the ball. Mackenzie Campbell has it, dribbles right side. And uh, we'll see how they shoot on this end. They kind of were lights out for a while. Ooh, First fade shot's away, she no went good, out. yeah, is by uh, Gracie Boggs underneath. If she just took that right to the basket, she probably would have got fouled and probably ball's, made the basket. Ball thrown out bounce on the other end by Claremont Northeastern. So it's going to be uh, East Clinton basketball. They get it into Campbell. She brings it up. 34 to 15 again is our score here. Kenzie Campbell dribble on the right side, gets it over to Peterman. Oh, Miss Durbin on cut. Campbell, short, three short. pointers. Nice shot, shot. but yep, just a little short. short. And uh, heading back is Claremont Northeastern. Ball turn underneath. We're going to have a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Boggs or Durbin. Oh, they're going to call it on Durbin. Durbin. Mm. I didn't see the foul. I saw the overthrow. She went up to get it, and there was a foul. That's Durbin's. I, I've got Durbin for two. He That's what I got. First, so. I first, got it for two. Team's first this half, maybe, is what he meant. Yeah, they got her Balls two on the board. Pass underneath. Shot up. No good. Again, shot. No good. Claremont Northeastern gets the rebound twice there. Alexa trying to move the coach out of our way. Northeastern moving the ball around the right side. East Clinton now is playing a little zone, 2-3. Three. Three Three-pointer thrown up, no good. Rebounded by Mackenzie Campbell, and there comes the Astros the other direction. Scott, send us that uh, pronunciation of your name. That's 
Sam. Oh, that's oh, that's Sam. That's yeah. different. This is Scott. Uh, the other one's Sam. What are Sam. you doing? You're uh, reading her uh, text there, I'm Joe? reading her text, That's yeah. a little rude. Hey, it's okay. I love we're, Joe. We're sharing things over here. Oh, that's a little too much information. Okay. Campbell has it. Nice job, Matt. Gets it over to Boggs on the left side. Peterman has it out on the right side. She tries oh, to yeah. get it into um, Mackenzie Campbell. No, throws it way too far. Well, Jeff not telling her that's not the thing right. to do right there. Well, she's tried two of those tonight, and both of them have been, you know, led too long Don't going out of there. Don't force Playing it in there. She's not there. Again. I know you're thinking, hey, that's a, oh, she's wide open, but if she's not ready for it. And especially when you have a comfortable lead. Yes. So. Just don't worry about it. Shot up. Forcing no a good. shot or a pass. Rebound by Claremont Let Northeastern. Let the clock tick away. Right elbow. Run it back out. Run the play again. Number 10 in the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Claremont Northeastern. Number 24. She makes the basket. Taylor Schumar. That gives her a seven by my tally. 34-17. I, you know, East Clinton going to the zone. I so hope they get lazy, you know. Uh, that worries me a little bit. I'd rather see them stay aggressive. They've got it with six on the board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That board hadn't been right a lot either. Well, I had so. it with six. I'm, I'm not saying I'm right, but you know, the only reason I said Durbin it is Durbin tries to get this up and gets fouled by number 10. Every time East, uh, East Clinton McKenzie drives the bucket, Reese. they get fouled. So, boom. Oh, no, they called on 23. That's her third. Durbin coming to the line. She's coming out. And the team that typically gets to the line the most wins the game. Ooh, Durbin, in and this out. is the first one. She's, she's got not, 11 points tonight so far. It's not like she's shooting a bad foul shot right there. She's getting, she's getting arched and everything. Maybe just needs a little more leg into it. I'm not sure. Well, and I don't care what anybody says. The first couple nice minutes of a half, you got to get used to that depth perception. Yeah, do. I don't care. It's not the same on each side, usually. Here it's close, but it's just not. You got windows back here, over there. It's just a wall. Claremont Northeastern throws the ball away. Well, and she's got five foul, <laughs> five points off foul shots tonight, so Durbin's doing a well good oh, job. Oh, she's doing great. Yeah. And uh, he's Clinton bringing the ball up, 35-17. Five minutes to go, third period of play here at Wilmington High School. Campbell over to Boggs. Boggs. Ooh, Ooh nice shot. Footer, no great. good. Rebounded by Durbin, and it's good. You know, that was a very good read. She attacked the middle. The two defenders on the blo blocks both came up, and easy kick out. She's got 14 points already tonight. Shot up, Claremont George. Northeastern, no good. Rebounded by Peterman. Has a three-pointer, long rebound comes to Peterman. 37-17, 4.30 to go. Ball's knocked away, Peterman State keeps control of it. Gets it to Campbell, over to Durbin. Durbin pops the three from Ooh. the center of the arc, no good. Left hand. Campbell, rebound, no good. Claremont Northeastern with the basketball. Yeah, she grabbed that ball and was falling down or falling back, threw it up with her left hand and almost made that buck. Oh, nice oh, block, block Durbin. Durbin. Oh, and lets it get stolen. stolen. And gets a foul. Yep, Frustration. Foul on her. Now, is that going to be her second or third? I got her. I got her three. Yeah. yeah that, team you said second. Well, you thought team it was second. one. But, yeah. yeah. They're going to put her up three in there. No, I think I said it wrong. Yeah, number two. Yeah, the board's got her with three. Promise now. Shercliffe getting ready to come into the game for Claremont Northeastern. First one's up and good by number 22, Michaela Drury, her first point of the night. You know, if I was c &E, my mindset would be try to get the lead down to 10 and then just go quarter by quarter. Yeah. Right. Trouble is girls look up and see that. They, they see the whole amount. You know, that's. You got to compete, you know. So, 37-19. Well, like anything else in life. You've got to give yourself something to shoot for. Exactly. Bowman has the ball. She gets by the defenders. Comes straight down the court. Tries to put it up. No foul call. Bobby's yeah. on the floor. She she just out of control, threw it up underhanded. Yeah. They're not going to bail her out on that. If she goes up for a regular shot, they'll probably get a foul call. Rolf in the game. She's a good defender. She is. Very good defender. Not very tall, but, boy, she can defend. 
and she'll give you 100% every I time I tell you, she's right now, she's on a girl about a foot taller than her in this zone. They got her posting up underneath. Oh! Peterman gets the block, but they're going to call a foul. Was that a foul? Yeah. I couldn't tell from this angle. From this angle, I'd say no, but uh, from the other angle, I might have said yes. Lacey Perman, he's her second. That foul Team's could have third. been a, that foul could have been avoided if there was help side. She was right. late. Yeah, she she was coming over help side, but she got there late. Shot up, no good by number twenty five. And that's why they can put fourteen on her right. as a shorter girl because he knows we got that help side. Mm -hmm. But the help side's got to know gotta to trust be over your there. teammates. Shot up, he makes that one. So Alyssa Williams makes that one. She's got five by my count That's tonight. what I got, yeah. Bowman has it, gets it over to Peterman. Peterman has it near the right wing. Campbell comes out to set a screen. Three-pointer, Peter. Ooh, no good. thought it was there. Bowman gets the long rebound, though. That's what they about a three-point shot. Off she gets it out to Lexus Rolf. Rolf drives to the right side. No, nothing there. Campbell puts Ooh. the shot up. She gets fouled. Boy, I thought he was going to bank that in and make a basket there. Fouls on number 25, Alyssa Williams. I got her for three. Yep, yep. that's her third. Going to the line is Mackenzie Campbell. Well, it's one thing about a three-point shot. You, the offense gets the ball majority of the time, or mm -hmm. a good high, more than they do on a regular shot. There's long rebounds, yep. Campbell, I think that's her 10th point Yep, yep that's she's in double got. figures now, it says. So East Clinton has three girls already in double figures. Peterman, Campbell, and Durbin. Makes them both. We got one with 11, one with 12, and one with 14. Yeah. Wow. 39 to 20. Yeah. And we're back to that 19 point lead like we were at the half. Shot up. Claremont oh, Blanchard. I said too hard two and pointer. it banked in. The bank is open. Was Number that 24? Yep. I think, was it 24? Uh, it was three. Three, yeah, it was three. That's oh, what three, I thought. I Bricker, yeah. That's what I thought, but now I wasn't sure either. That's what I'm here for, guys. <laughs> Oh well, if they, they were, no if they were 19 points, Travel, yeah. yeah. If they were 19 points ahead, they're only 17 now. That would be two, if yeah. you're going by the math. Yeah, that, that was awful. Cause he misses a foul and calls a travel. Yeah. Hey, they're running a play call, Kentucky. 39-22. Terrible. Uh, outlaw that play. Oh shush. Shots put up, no good. Foul on uh, 14, I think. Rolf. Yep. yep. Foul on 14. She had that little That's her first. guilty look. Oh, did I do that? Team's fourth. 39-22, 2 11 to go here. And at the line is number 10. This is the first Ten. one. You definitely want to hit your free throws. They, they have not hit very many threes tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've hit seven, but, you know, they've missed a lot. Seven. A lot of Who's hit seven threes? I've got them, the whole team. You're talking about East Clinton, right? This team right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That was their six. They've made six free throws. Oh, free throws. I oh, thought I you thought said you three. Said three. You like if you I did threes. say threes, I meant three. Yeah, free I said throws. three. Free throws, I get you. Yeah, that makes sense. You're, that makes sense. Three-pointer. That was a little no hard. Good. I could see that. Bowman fighting Ooh. for the rebound. Number 22 for the Rockets come out, comes out with it. She goes all the way oh, down. Oh, no, no foul, cough out. no call, Man. no nothing. Foul. Man. Boggs with the, uh, the rebound. Yeah, I figured, you know, I figured there'd be a call one way or the other there. Yeah. Campbell. Ooh, don't, yeah, don't just lob that bounce pass. Gets it over there. to Peterman. The balls. Come on, Taylor. Roth's going, oh, I thought she was going to yeah. shoot. Flex is the easiest offense to defend. Because you know what they're going to do. Oh, ball is going to go to the line to shoot two. She gets fouled. By number 22, Michaela Drury. That's her first team's third, I believe, this half. Third. I had her for two, and they've got her for three. Hmm. I've got one got her for two, yeah. She's not even her on the second. board up there. 
Do you see a 22 on the board? No. First shots missed by Boggs. Number 30 and 14, Bachman and Dana Evans coming into the game. 39-22, minute 16 to go here, third quarter. First one's missed by Boggs. Dribbles three or four times. Lines it up, nice shot. pops it, and yeah. it's good. And you say she's a sophomore? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's she's young. But she's 40 good. to 22. I think she's going to be better as the next two years. Right, yeah, for She just sure. needs to get a little Oh, meter. nice pass. Nice yeah. lead pass. Pass on the number 14. That is uh, Dana Evans just newly in the game and gets a bucket right away. That was a great backdoor cut. Yes, and, she, and nice lead pass. 40-24, mm -hmm. less than a minute to go here. Ten. Yeah. Not sure what she did. We have a foul away from the ball on Mackenzie Reese. It's her third, team's fourth. I think she tried to push off the girl that was blocking her to screen her, and she tried to push her away. So inbounds comes into Mackenzie Campbell. Campbell dribbles toward the center. Being guarded closely. By, by second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was definitely oh, blocked. Oh, blocked. No good. Uh, Boggs, oh, she just go up with it. But gets it out to. She doesn't enough. She needs to do that more. To, uh, Peterman. Was that a three or a two? Two. A two. It was inside. That's what I thought. You know, I heard him say three. Ten. Shoots the ball on the way up. That's good. That is Mackenzie Reese, her first bucket of the game. 42-26. Campbell has it. Dribbles left side. That's tightly guarded. They're not. Gets it over to Bowman. Ooh. Man, a lot, of, a lot of reaching, but no of, fouls being called. And more than reach, a lot of contact. Yeah, there's no foul on a reach, but boy, there's a lot of reach and contact. And there's no foul. I think, I think the, the, the knowledgeable listener audience knew exactly what I was talking about. I don't so. know, because a lot of the people in the stands are always going. 42-26. That's a reach. That's a reach. And, I get, and they are reaching. There's no contact. Now, who was that one on? 22. 22. That's her third. Michaela Drury. Got to be up. They got her with four. Shot. Oh, eh. He said it wasn't off in time anyhow. So at the end of three, 42 to 26. So Claremont Northeastern did win the quarter 11 to eight. So. Ma Michaela Drury does have four. She verified it right there. Okay. So Madrewy, Drury has four fouls. There's a bunch of fouls in this game. The Claremont Northeastern coaches are talking to the refs there in between. The well, they've got several quarter. girls with three right now, too. Yep, 42 to 26. Well, fouls were four to five that quarter. I mean, you, it's not like they're not calling fouls in these teams. Right. But East Clinton is driving the lane on them, and that's where they're picking up the majority of their fouls. And to be honest with you, they're kind of letting them play, in my opinion. Oh, they are. They're, they're only calling them when East Clinton, like we said well ago, mm -hmm. they set up the plow. Luttrell Trucking, Fiesta Veracruz, Royals E Lanes, Route 73 Homes, and Bush Chevrolet are our sponsors tonight. We want to thank each and every one of them. And if you see them out in the public, you say, hey, we did hear your ad there on WZAA, Campus Nation, and thanks for sponsoring high school sports. I'm thinking where I'm eating after this. And if you go into one of those that we're sponsoring, let them know you heard us. I thought you said call us. Sorry. I apologize, Charlie. Northeastern with the ball, last quarter here. Three-pointer way off, Man, rebounded by Durbin. 42-26. Natalie, where's ball? Durbin driving the left side. Good job, good job. Lots, nope. of, lots of contact there. Peterman shoots the three. Ooh, no in and good. out again. Rebounded by Campbell. She gets fouled on the shot. The 10. Yep. Fouls on number 10. That's Perfect. her fourth, isn't it? Her yep, fourth. her fourth, Mackenzie Reese. So going to the line, Mackenzie Campbell is going to shoot two. And it, like we were, let's see, the first half, uh, one more foul, and East Clinton will be in the bonus, one and one. No, 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 <laughs> Who's that? Who the, who's she in for? Box. <laughs> 
You know this game is out of this world. You know that, don't you? She made it. We have the Astros against the Rockets. <laughs> I actually thought that was funny. That was pretty good. I laughed. Do you like that? Yes, I did. He's putting, just doing a good defense here, forcing him. Oh, in. Nice. Oh. oh, man. Terrible call. Terrible call on number 11, Katrina Bowman. Yeah, going to the line is number three, Olivia Bricker. Wow. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Ah, he, he missed it. <laughs> I think he called the action more than you got to see the con you got to see the contact. Right. And if this coach has been in his ear saying, we're not getting we're not getting all of a sudden there's that. Because yeah. you've noticed it was the second after. Did she make both those? Yes. Okay, I know Parker the makes both of them. Bowman all by herself down the yeah. court. Puts it up and in. See, and he just fell asleep that time. Yeah. And Bowman's one just got the foul called. So she felt, I need to do something here. I think she's also a sophomore. Oh, Ooh, three Dang bank Warner. shot. Was that three or two? Help three. me out. Three. That's what yeah. I thought. Okay. Yeah, she, was, she was a couple feet behind the line. That's what I thought. 46 to 30. So the bank's open still. Stolen. Didn't take care of the ball nope. very good there on that pass. A little lazy pass again. That's been East Clinton's worst thing they've done to the, Oh, it's going to be on Bowman again, reaching through. He sort of did this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Foul on number 11. I don't have much of a beef with that one. I'd no, she stuck her hand out there. Nope. Going to line number three, Olivia Bricker. But that's what C&E they need to do. They need to get to the Shots line. Shots up and in. So the clock can stop. Both teams one foul away from the one and one. <laughs> Roth came in for Bowman. Made them both. Yep, 46-32, down to, to uh, 14. She's made their last seven points, number Durbin three. Durbin gets it to Peterman. Peterman pulls it back out. She gets we'll double teamed over to Durbin. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by CNE. It's like there's no rush to shoot a shot. There's no rush no, to get No, you're off. up 14. Run some kind of motion offense. She was open, though, to give her I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying. I mean, I can see it both ways there. She At least she was open, and yeah. it wasn't a force. No, I didn't say she forced it, but I'm just saying there's no rush to have to shoot a shot. If you know, That's a three-pointer. Yeah, I so. agree with Joe. No, I know. I, <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said it wasn't a force shot. That's what I said. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going back to East Clinton. Good hustle by East Clinton. Here comes Campbell and Durbin up the floor. Camp Campbell bring it up slowly, 46-32. Campbell bringing the ball out, being guarded by number 24 of the Rockets. Boggs has it, picks her dribble up, back to Campbell. Campbell drives the lane over to Rolf, back out to Durbin. Peterman with the ball now on the left side. Oh, she gets pushed. She's an animal. 22. Fouls on That's number five. 22. One. Coming in is number two, Promise Shercliffe. She came out, look at the coaches with her hands up, like, what did I do? Just about tackled her. Yeah. <laughs> Downtown Wilmington, they call that what? Uh, assault. Assault. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Peterman makes the first. How many threes does she have? Four. Three or four? Four. 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 She made four in a row. And this, that she's made 16 points. Yep. So her and. Durbin are very close, and Campbell's right there. 12, so. 16, 48, 14. 32. East Clinton still holding that 16 point lead. Three pointer, CNE. It's good. By that's three. That's Bricker. She scored their last 10 points. Yep. She's a 
And somebody needs to figure out they need to guard her. She's made four points on foul shots and two threes. Almost, almost, almost had a chance to steal it. Did CNE? Peterman gets it. Does oh a little my euro gosh. step to the basket. <laughs> yeah, makes I the, think makes so. Makes the bucket. But I must give CNE some credit. This is a different ball team than it was the first half. Yeah. Okay, electrical trucking for all your trucking needs: flatbed, tankers, uh, farm trucking. See them, they're in Sabino, Ohio. Luttrell Trucking, Fiesta Vera Cruz is uh, located in Wilmington, Ohio. And uh, they have, uh, Fiesta Vera Cruz has a wide array of uh, Mexican and uh, American cuisine. Royal Z Lanes, uh, open bowling, league bowling, High Shoot, bowling. you might even see Joe Davis bowling. That's right. Yeah, just Royal Z Lanes. Route 73 Homes. I do give autographs. Route 73 Homes. See me bowling with the gutters up. <laughs> well, yeah, not the, yeah, what do they call those? <laughs> the bumpers. The bumpers, the bumpers yeah. yeah. Route 73 Homes. Brian Lawrence for all your uh, uh, new home, uh, modular, mobile home needs. Brian is at your service. And Bush Chevrolet, GMC, Cadillac, used car, and service center located right here in Wilmington, Ohio. Thank you, sponsors. Coming down the, the court, the Rockets. They have played oh, she traveled. Oh, my have, gosh. She have, started out by the three-point line. They have played a little better this uh, second half. Yep. Okay, Campbell's going to be shooting, and we got a foul on number 30. And you can hear Mr. Craycraft down there. He is fired up. Yep. That's what? Bachman's third foul. And one thing about East Clinton, they've not, at, at, they've not stopped or anything. They're, they're still attacking, attacking. And that's good. I was worried when they went to that zone, you know. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this. Campbell makes the first. Now that's her 14th point. Or at least by what I've got. I think you're probably right. I think I might have threw a couple extra in there because we were talking about something I thought I missed one. So she's got 15. Mm -hmm. Durbin has at least 14, and Peterman has 18. 18 yep. Wow. That's what makes them hard to stop. You can't stop one girl. There's three girls right there. You and can't the other play girls box can one. still. You can do triangle and two. You, you just got to play man to man or zone. So. Nice block, block Durbin. By Durbin. That's what she's known for, averaging over four blocks a game this year. Box gets the ball and gives it to Campbell, and East Clinton's down the other end. Under four minutes to play here, 52-35. Stolen away by the Rockets. Blocked Durbin by Durbin. Gets the block again. Settle it. Campbell bringing it down. She did, a, she did a great job of keeping her body away and reaching over and getting the ball. Rolf, two pointer. Get it. Oh. oh, no good. Thought it was going to die into the basket for a second. Claremont Northeastern on the attack. Was that blocked again, again by, Durbin? by Durbin? Yeah, didn't, you could hear I it. I could hear <laughs> it, but I couldn't tell who it was. Got a foul on uh, Boggs, I think. 42. Boggs. That's her first. Bucket's good by number three, Olivia Bricker. And she's going to the line to shoot the bonus, and she makes it. Like I said, she... 52-38. She's made her last 13 points. She's a dandy. She's good, yep. And she doesn't have a lot of fouls, so, you know, she's not, like, in foul trouble to worry here in the fourth quarter. Peterman has it left wing. She drives the lane. She yep. gets fouled, though. Oh, they were just running a little flex Foul on number 10. That's, That's her, her fifth. fifth. And Peterman will go to the line to shoot the one and one She's on the road to 20. Makes the first. 19. What year is she? 
Senior. Senior. Yep. Is she close to her thousand? Has she scored? No, 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 no. 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 Oh, I don't know about that thousand. I, she might be. I don't know. Beat them both. She's got 20. Claremont Northeastern with the basketball. East Clinton up 54 38. Shot up by CNE. No good. Was they rebound Wilmington, I mean, East Clinton, but they let him pull the ball away. Foul, yeah. Durbin gets a nice block on that, and they're going to call a foul. Oh, not calling it on. Yeah, yeah they, they are. Did. Yeah, they are. I mean, her body was uh, two feet away from the girl, and she got all ball. Obviously not according to the referee. I know it. Shot up, number three. That's uh, Olivia Bricker. It's good. Dean's doing a great job over there videotaping. Chucky. Yes. <laughs> and uh, who else? Who else? Crystal. Right. Rachel. 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 Isn't there a Crystal? That's Crystal's daughter. his daughter. Oh, that's my sister's name. That's why I was like. Who made that? 54 40. Uh, the girl was on the foul line. <laughs> Ten, uh, three. <laughs> who else has made their points the last uh, five minutes? Two minutes to go here in the uh, first half. Why Campbell's going to get a foul. Uh, she was going after the ball and just happened to be 40. there. 54-40. It's her third. Yep. Nine fouls called against each team, so you know teams can't say, hey, call it both ways, which is a thing a referee hates to hear. Yep, the first one was up and made by Bricker. I tell you, is she the only one that ever touches the ball? Because you know, that was just whoever went after was going to get fouled and it happened to be her. Right. I think she's the only one hustling and going after everything. I mean, she was pretty quiet the first half. She was. And shots first missed. shot she's missed for a while. Peterman gets it on the rebound. Two minutes, like we said, to play here. 54-41. And the ball is, again, not taken care points. of. Oh, it should be a travel. <laughs> yeah, there we yeah. go. She's smiling. She knew. She tried. Yep. Okay, full timeout called by the Astros. Again, our sponsors tonight are Luttrell Trucking for all your uh, – uh, semi needs, farm trucking needs, flatbed, uh, tanker, uh, Luttrell Trucking right there just outside of Sabina, Ohio on State Route 72. Fiesta Veracruz. Ha, 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 ha. That sounded fancy. And, there, and, and, there's, and there's no wall being built to my knowledge around Fiesta Veracruz oh. yet. But Trump Poor. might want that. I don't know. They have that, but they have they have Mexican cuisine, but they also have American cuisine. So they they can do both. Give me some queso. Royal Z Lanes uh, for your, all your bowling needs, located just out near the Elks Lodge in Wilmington, Walmart. Route 73 Homes once again. Route 73 Homes. Brian Lawrence and Bush Bush Chevrolet. <coughs> I'll echo that. Gracie Boggs in for nice we'll get the quick header, and it's good. It's four points for Gracie. Claremont Northeastern's coach just shaking his head. He couldn't believe they fell for that. Oh. They all came down here. She broke, threw yep. it through wide open, and they just throw it away. Minute 37 seconds to go in the game, but as far as the c &E is concerned, it's over. They're, they're just Yeah. Like, oh, 56-41. And East Clinton's held, uh, you know, he's held control since yes. the opening period, you know. They're up, I think, one time 14 to three, I think, something along that line. Yeah. It's never really been in contest since the early first Peter quarter. Peterman with the basketball. Gets it to Durbin. Oh, oh Campbell misses not. the pass. <laughs> behind her. The girl out of bounds. <laughs> Paige Lilly like, kicks it back. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, it's still in bounds. Craig, Craig Kraft gave her the look, too. Don't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need a tee. Bowman coming out, Peterman coming out. Nice night by Peterman. Campbell's the only major starter in the game. I mean, uh, three Bogg pointer still put up by number 45. No good. Claremont Northeastern ball gets knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Rockets. 
A lot, of, a lot of reserve players in the game now. We've had pretty much like line changes. Mackenzie Campbell's still in the game. I though, think he's the keeping Astros. her in just for ball handling, I think, mm -hmm. basically. You know, a lot of times. One minute to play, three pointer put up. 15. That's good by number 15, Reagan Beverly. That's her first basket. Yeah, I think she's, she probably just got in the yeah, game. Well, she probably yeah. did. I don't know if she was in earlier or not. No, she just got in the game. Paige Lilly has it, goes right side, gets it over to Campbell. 56 44. Campbell goes and gets fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. I thought Campbell would be like just dish enough to get fouls on, at this point. Fouls on number 15, Reagan Beverly. So the winner of this game plays Williamsburg, correct? You got it, Toyota. Misses the first. And just think, the last two times these two teams played, it was nine points one time, ten mm -hmm. points the next. Well, and it's going to be close to that this time. Yep, yeah, add it together. It's only 12 right now. Man, no, I'm kidding you, Charlie. That's that, that's that East Clinton math, folks. I don't know. <laughs> Well, that's because East Clinton has sort of slacked off in the last two or Well, minutes. yeah, they each had, team has put in their reserves. They've had 15 reserves. to 16-point yeah. lead this whole fourth quarter. Campbell makes that one. That's 15 on the night for her. Peterman with 20. Gracie Boggs with four. Forty-two point one seconds to go, and Claremont Northeastern still does have Olivia Bricker in the game. Yeah. She's been their gun for the last six, seven minutes. The three-pointer misses everything, but they get the rebound. Another Bricker. three-pointer put up. Oh, and bank! And bank. makes another I, one. I don't know if she's the one every time, but there's yeah. been three bank shots for threes in this game for them. She's got twenty-three right now by my count. That's what I think what I got for her. He's Clinton with the ball, and the uh, ball's on the floor. Nice Jump hustle. ball. Number it's going to stay with East Clinton. 12.6 seconds to go here. Number McKin 14 McKin coming McKin in. Dove on that ball for East Clinton. Dana Evans coming in Gotta for uh, senior Olivia Bricker, who's had a wonderful night for the Rockets. And Rolf has it, and uh, it's 10 seconds left. Gets it over to Lily. Lily who dribbles around. She needs help. Gets it to Boggs. One second, and that's the bowl game right there, folks. East Clinton, 57. Claremont Northeastern, 46. And you know what's funny about that, Joe, is like you said, one game was nine, one game was 10, now one game's 11. <laughs> so, you know. Very close, yep, all three. That's what I was bringing up, but I yep. kiddingly said uh, double, uh, that they, all three games are gonna be very close. I'll, I'll dip out of here. I don't know if they're gonna do a, I don't know if he's gonna do an interview yeah. or yes. not tonight. Yes. So I'll let you guys handle that. And I'll see you tomorrow night, Joe. And I don't know, Lexi, when I'll see you again, but good luck uh, thank you, thank in all you. your interviews. Thanks. And, you know, if Minnesota wants you, they realize that there's some stiff competition, right? Huh? He said he was coming. Say that again. Yes. Uh, Minnesota, if they want you, they realize they've got some stiff competition to get you. Right. I mean, I'm just lucky to be in this situation oh, yeah. for sure. I'm but, just saying, you know. So, yeah, I'm definitely keeping my options open. Yeah, I mean, you got three or four, you know, one's ready to offer, aren't they already? Or a couple? Yeah, I've gotten like seven offers already. There you yeah. go. <laughs> so Minnesota, if you're listening, <laughs> step it up right now. I'm telling you, you won't, you won't, you won't, uh, you won't be uh, saddened by that. <laughs> step, step it up for the Lexi. Hey, right? I'm definitely leaning towards them for sure. So I'm definitely excited to visit them. Tonight. That doesn't mean they can't step it up a little bit there. Hey, they I can't agree. make I it agree. more attractive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I agree. Yes. Oh, uh, have got, you have to keep us informed. On oh this. yes, for sure, for All sure. Right. Yes. All right. Well, let's. When I tell you one thing, I want to know before I do get off here, is when does East Clinton now play again? They'll play uh, the winner. Do they play. Let's the, see. Of the previous game. They play Williamsburg, right? And they play them Monday. Yes, Monday. I remember looking at so, that. I couldn't remember, but yeah, I remember looking up. They East play Monday. Clinton. I'm free Monday. You free Monday. At yeah, tomorrow night Wilmington. Wilmington girls against Mason. Yeah, Charlie. And that's the second game of their tournament action, and it'll be Lakota East. East. 
Kayla Cody. Well, I, I get them confused. Boys Saturday at three at Mason. Tomorrow we're at Lakota East. So uh, again, I'm going to drop off here, but thanks a lot for following the games tonight. And uh, everybody drive carefully. I, they're calling for a little bit of crazy weather tonight, I think. Saying I can do them flips. What are you talking about? I thought you bought that TV last night. <laughs> you got outbid? I thought I did. So who bought it? Tell her to talk more. Oh, I thought it was yours. Is that Scott? That's my mom. Oh, that's your mom? Yes. yes. I thought for sure you had the last bid. Blowing up my phone like she always does. Well, Scott and Sam need to tell Lexi to talk more. <laughs> well, it's hard to talk whenever, you know. You'll save the money. We don't get much time. Exactly. You don't have any issue. You know, that's what you're telling me. I didn't think you'd have any issue with that. Yep. Well, we're getting ready to. We're just. I was going to ask her if she could verify some scores, but she closed her book. Could you verify some scores that I've oh, got to good. see if I added right? Maybe I think I missed a basket here or there for both teams. Thank you. Okay, they've got Mackenzie Campbell with 16, 14, 20. We've got Bowman with three. Where's Bowman? But overall, I mean, you East know, you Clinton. Talk, you can talk while I'm doing oh. this. Please do, because I got dead air while I'm doing this. Right, but overall, I mean, East Clinton, they played well all four quarters. Um, obviously, who led them in scoring? Peterman? Yes. Correct, she had 20. 20. Uh, Campbell had 16 and Durbin 14. Right. There he is, right here. Yep, three. <laughs> First of all, I want to start off with the congratulations. On a Thanks game. a lot, Joe. The Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Now, the second thing I want to say, and then I'm going to turn it over to you. Alexis said, this East Clinton team is greatly coached. First time I've seen you guys play. They just run the offense great. They're patient. They settle for good shots, and they see the floor well. Yeah. they. We've got better as the years progress. We started out with three seniors that had lots of experience in, in Peterman and, and Durbin and Campbell, and then we've been, you know, we've got two sophomores, Bowman and, and Boggs, and now um, Alexis Roth is stepping up, and uh, she's going to give us valuable minutes. Uh, How great she Sophomore. So you had three, at least three sophomores. Three sophomores right? or three seniors. Yeah, so the sophomores out there, and they were doing good. Boggs, uh, she needs to take the ball up to the hoop more when yeah. she gets underneath. But she did a good kick out, and the baskets were made usually after that. But, you know, she's, she needs to Our more. goal going into this game was to get it in and get it out because uh, their defense, they collapse, and they're a lot bigger and stronger than us. So we wanted to take advantage of our skill set and uh, penetrate. We wanted to be patient with the ball, yeah, but don't hold it. Time. You know, we make some – you know, I'm now a big passer from top to key down to the block. I like to have in the, right. you know, little angle. But, you know, every coach is a little different. But I, I think the depth perception is there. That's a hard pass to make. If you can get it to the free throw line, you can go up yeah. and down, high and low. Right. But when you're out around the three-point line – you know, we made some mistakes. We're, we're, they're kids. Oh, you know, everybody, no matter what team, Williamsburg, the game before, they won by a bunch, made a lot of mistakes in that right. game against a very. I weak hope they team. continue that way. Yes. <laughs> uh, so everybody makes mistakes. The key, the key thing is to make more positive game than you made mistakes. And I saw that tonight with these. Well, I saw you, good teamwork. You know, you know, we, we talk team, and we are a team. Well, we have to recognize who, where we want to get our shots from. And I told him last night, I'm going to, I, I came in here as an assistant coach four years ago when these kids were freshmen, and now they're seniors. They've earned the rights to shoot the ball whenever they want to. Right. You know, some coaches, you know, I know you say you live and die by that three, but those, those three kids can shoot. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw other girls on the team shoot 
and it's, you're not saying to the other girls, don't shoot. They right. just understand who our scorers are yeah. and it set them up. But if the others are all blocked and I'm wide open, they know they can shoot the ball. And, they, and all the shots I saw taken, I didn't right. see anybody really take a, yeah. a sloppy shot. I didn't see a brick thrown up there. They were all good shots. We added some new sets. We added some new angles. You know, we played them three times. We went down Claremont Northeastern the first, or about the third game of the season. It looked like we, we looked like the bad news bears. Right. And, and then we beat them at our place here a few weeks ago. And, and you know, we were concerned going into the game about, you know, uh, 23, 25, and 30. And Durbin, you know, I declared her the, the shot blocker of East Clinton history. You know, oh, she came geez. in the night's game with 106, and I think she ended up with three or four more tonight. She had at least three that I'm aware of. The fourth one, I thought she still got clean. Yeah. But. You know, what happens is officials are not used to seeing girls block shots. You're right. right. That's true. Clean and blocks. Yeah. Yes. Well, They're, one thing she did good was when she did block, and even the last one, she was blocking from here, yeah. not here, which you can get body. She was blocking here. So it, if you get ball, you can't say, well, she got and body. I want to talk about the young kids, too. Alexis Roth and, and uh, Katrina Bowman and, and Gracie Boggs, oh. they've, their maturation point has grown exponentially as the year has progressed. And – well, Bonk started tonight, yeah. didn't she? Yeah, she's been starting all year. Yeah, there was some pain. Know, they were, they were, year, I so. know, but there were some pains and stuff with growth. But Gracie comes from a great family and you know, uh, athletic family right. and uh, a competitive family. Dad yeah. could put a, do a pretty good yeah, job. And dad, uh, Grandpa was a good basketball yeah. player. Well, that's in your area. That's You're a lot older I remember than I am. him. He's, he's but, a little <clears> Those three young long. kids, and we got all the kids in tonight. And... They, you know, I told them tomorrow or, you know, Monday we come in here, we play for the championship for the second year in a row. Right. And before I took over the program, we hadn't been 15, 20 years. Well, one thing I told her earlier during the match, during the game, a few years ago, a few years ago, when you looked up on the banners at East Clinton, you didn't see a basketball picture of anybody. Right. There were girls out there on the basketball team, but there were softball pictures of them, a volleyball right. picture of them, track star. Now you look up there, basketball, basketball basketball yeah. so that's something different it is yeah. and you know we're gonna to have to get you know I see some good I, girls coming up in the program too yeah you know and uh, I you know I told him you know yeah you, you, the seventh and eighth grade had great years and I'm very proud of them so the sixth grade. but you know the eighth grade is gonna come in next year and they're gonna to have to play against seniors and juniors that maybe had the same junior high career that they did right so you know this summer you know, we'll have, you know, you can do all these workouts now as coaches. And if we can get the kids to come in and do their four person workouts, you know, they only have to come in two or three days a week. They can rotate, you know, because I'm, I'm not a coach that thinks you should hog players. You know, mm-hmm. you know, I remember playing 60 games of baseball and going to basketball practice and then going to football. I think it's good. And, you know, I think if you're not using the same set of muscles, you get less injuries. Right. And some of these guys, these professional trainers and, you know, whatever they are out there in the free world, they convince these kids to play one sport. And you see a lot of ACLs and a lot of injuries. And, you know, maybe for your top echelon, but that's less than 1%. Right. And they try to sell that to that guy. That's the guy that's going to, to Duke or Duke. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But we appreciate you guys coming. You know, I know these guys want to get cleaned yeah, up. Yeah. And, and I really uh, enjoyed it because that was the first time I've seen you guys play. And yeah. I really was impressed. They did everything fundamentally well, correct for the most part, and yeah. it was just a great game to see. Impressed about tonight. Impressed about your future. Like you said, these leaders coming up to be freshmen next year. Mm-hmm. Some of them may help you with a lot of minutes on varsity. Right. The ones that don't are going to go to the reserve. That means you're going to have stepping stone for several years, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and hopefully you'll be doing Got some here. fourth graders too. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at that class as well. <laughs> well, but I appreciate it, you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you here Monday night. And <laughs> well, well, congratulations. Uh, we'll see you Monday thanks. night. Yeah. This has been yes. Campus nice Station. Nice to meet you. Meet you. Are we also WZAA, LPFM, Jeffersonville, Ohio? want to thank you to, uh, for everybody for Alexa. Alexis Doddridge. Doddridge, Joe Davis, and what's that guy that left here, Charlie? Um, oh, uh, Hargrave. Hargrave, yes, yes. yes. Good old Charlie. We love you, man. <laughs> and Chuck on the camera Where and uh, Chuck Where Dino or Dino Chuck and Charlie's wife, Rachel. For Rick, Phillips, everybody, goodbye.